Hello everyone, welcome again in Engman YouTube channel. So in this video, we will continue our Q&A session. And today's topic is about gas gravity. And this is our case. So we have a gas well, and the gas well is producing gas with a specific gravity of 0 0.65 at a rate of 1.1 mmSCF per day. And the average reservoir pressure and temperature are 1500 PSI and 150 degrees Fahrenheit. And we need to calculate first the apparent molecular weight of the gas and B, gas density at reservoir conditions and C, the flow rate in pound per day. So it's mass flow rate, pound per day. Okay, so first we will list down all the data. So we have here gas specific gravity 0 0.65 okay and the flow rate of the gas the volumetric flow rate 1.1 mmscf per day so i type in mmscfd mmscf per day and the average reservoir pressure 1500 psi and the reservoir temperature 150 degrees fahrenheit all right, now let's solve the problems. First, we need to solve for the apparent molecular weight. And this is the formula. So we have the correlation or formula for specific gravity. So the specific gravity of gas is the apparent molecular weight divided by the molecular weight of air. And the molecular weight of air is this one. Okay, 28.696, 28.96. So if we just do a simple mathematics, we can calculate the apparent molecular weight to be 28.96 multiplied by the specific gravity of gas. So it's very easy. So MA, or maybe I can borrow something from here okay so ma is 28.96 multiplied by the specific gravity of gas this one okay so it's 18 point a2 okay so it's the apparent molecular weight so you can also type in the unit gram per mole all right so that's for point a apparent molecular weight of the gas is 18.82 gram per mole and the next one we need to calculate the gas density and we have prepared the formula so this is the formula to calculate the gas density. Okay, so I will copy this one. All right, and then first we make the formula. So we need the reservoir pressure of 1500 PSI multiplied by the this one, apparent molecular weight. 18.82 gram per mole and then divided by the R okay so it should be 10.73 and multiplied by the temperature okay but currently we have temperature in degrees Fahrenheit we need to make the unit in Rankine so it should be, I will open parenthesis again, 150 Fahrenheit. I will convert it to Rankine. So it should be Fahrenheit plus 460. Okay. And so it should be 4.31. And the unit is pound per cubic foot. Okay. Let me just 
do some modification. Superscript. Okay, by the way, I need to remind you about R. R is the universal gas constant. So maybe I can paste it here. Yeah, so R is the universal gas constant and the unit is here, PSIA cubic foot per pound mole multiplied by this one, Rankine, temperature in Rankine and the value is 10.73, okay? And maybe I can make it like this one. So to convert from the temperature from Fahrenheit into Rankine, we can just calculate it like this, plus 460, all right? And then we can merge this one. Okay, from at cells. Okay. And maybe we can also use R, universal gas constant, 10.73. And the unit, this one, PSIA, Cubic feet, cubic foot, I mean. And then divided by pound mole and friend kind in temperature. So I make parenthesis here. Okay. And we can make the calculation better. I will locate this one to take the value from here. Okay, and then the temperature in Rankine, I will take the value here. So it's still 4.31 pound per cubic foot. So that's the gas density, the density of gas. And last one, we need to calculate the mass flow rate in pound per day. So first we need to know this one because one pound mole of any gas will occupy 379.4 standard cubic feet at standard conditions, then the daily number of moles that the gas well is producing can be calculated using this one. So it should be N, or I can borrow this cells again, so N, Okay, the number of moles, okay. So let's take the flow rate, 1.1, this one, 1.1 mmSCF per day. So mm is 1 million. So I will multiply this one, multiplied by one E, six, this is 1 million, okay? And divide it with this one, 379.4. Okay, so one pound mole of any gas will occupy 379.4 standard cubic feet. So we will calculate the number of moles using this formula, okay? So this one. So the unit will be pound mole. Okay. Okay, so this is the daily number of moles that the gas well is producing, right? In each day, the gas well will produce this much of moles, okay? And lastly, we can just calculate the daily mass flow rate of the coming from the gas well. So it should be M. Now it's 
number of moles. Okay, and then multiplied by the apparent molecular weight. This one. So pound mole multiplied by gram per mole. Okay. So it's 54,576.7, but now it's pound per day. By the way, it's each day. Okay, so maybe if we, we can also make it this one. So mole rate, all right? Flow rate in moles. Okay, now it's per day. Yeah. Okay, so it's pound mole per day and then multiplied by this one. By the way, we need, again, we need to reconcile the, the unit. It is actually gram per mole, but the mole is in gram. So gram per gram mole is actually the same with saying pound per pound mole, All right? Mole can be expressed in pound mole, but it can also be expressed in gram mole, okay? So one mole in each gram or one mole I mean, the number of moles in each gram or the number of moles in each pound, okay? But, but the value will be the same, 18.82, okay? So if we want to use, in this case, in pound mole, so we can also, we can easily calculate the flow rate, the mass flow rate to be this one, mole flow rate in pound mole per day multiplied by this one, apparent molecular weight, 18.82 pound per pound mole. So the unit will be pound per day, okay? And let me do like this. So yeah, the, the, the mass flow rate in pound per day, the gas produced by our gas well is 54,577 pound per day all right so that's all i hope the i hope you enjoyed the video i hope this video is useful thank you so much for watching and see you again in the next q a videos thank you